Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to easily fix when you go to any web page, you can see it simply doesn't load. And I am connected onto Wi-Fi and you know all my other devices, the Wi-Fi network works perfectly fine. However, on my iPhone tennis right here, shout out to that case, I go to any website, you know, twitter.com, doesn't work, tutubox.i or whatever this is, there we go, this page doesn't work. I mean, I could try any other web page and it simply doesn't load. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to exactly fix this issue. Uh, for the thumbnail, I'll just take a nice screenshot right here. So the reason why this happens is there are multiple reasons. Let's troubleshoot everything. So first things first, we're gonna open up settings and we're gonna to go to the Wi-Fi settings. Then we're gonna tap on the eye. And the reason in my situation is I have a proxy server configured and the proxy server isn't working. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap on configure proxy. I'm gonna set this to off and we'll save. Now the next reason is you have a VPN um, which is trying to connect to your iPhone and it's failing, or you have a VPN which is blocking certain websites, or you have an ISP blocking certain websites. So there's other reasons, let's go through each of them. So let's go to general, VPN, and let's have a look. Are any VPNs trying to connect? So you can see this VPN's ticked, we're gonna tap on I, and we're gonna make sure connect on demand is disabled. And we'll just tap on this other eye and just make sure both of these are disabled. If connect on demand is enabled, sometimes uh, some Wi-Fi networks will refuse to connect to your VPN. And what it causes is your internet essentially to stop working. You aren't able to load up any of the websites, right? But another thing could be that your ISP is blocking the website, right? So do other websites load? So see google.com or whatever. Is this going to load? Yeah, this loads. See, if Google loads, but you see Twitter doesn't load, then what this means is your ISP has blocked those websites. Now, if this is your mobile data or it's your personal network, there's probably something wrong here. So you probably want to call them up, see what's going on. Otherwise, uh, you're probably going to have to download a VPN and connect to it in order to bypass the limitations. You personally use Surfshark, but it's paid. I think a free VPN, like a pretty good one, However, they have fallen downhill since I last used them, but it was called XVPN. I recommend you just check it out. Completely free. There's no links in the description. There's no sponsorship. That's just my personal uh, opinion. Also, another thing I should check is mobile data, right? Just make sure that if you're on 4G, you might want to try to move it down to 3G. Or if you're on 3G, you might want to test around with the Edge network. There is a possibility that the 4G uh, network you're connected to is congested. And what this means is, well, the websites will not load. And so you're just turning it down, see if that works. Also see if, um, you know, can you load up applications on your iPhone? If not, then it probably means that your um, ISP either isn't giving you inter uh, internet access or is blocking websites. Again, if they're blocking sites, you can use a VPN. However, if everything's blocked, it seems like, then that probably means that your cellular data isn't working properly. Finally, what I recommend you do is you go to general, reset, and then just reset the network settings. And hopefully um, by doing that, it should refresh the connections and you should be good to go. However, we need to do, if it doesn't work, check where's my internet coming from? Is it coming from your uh, cellular network or is it coming from your Wi-Fi? If it's coming from your cellular network, you will, the best thing you wanna do is call up your internet server a service provider ask them why on earth is this not working because obviously they have a right to give you internet and what it seems like is they have a blocking websites or they are you know not giving you internet access it's probably that they aren't giving you internet access or you just want to troubleshoot your wi-fi network see is it working you know the website's working on my other devices if so the fixes in this video should help you out Otherwise, you might have to back up all data on your iPhone, then factory set it to the factory default. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it didn't, make sure to smash like. I've tried to cover as much things as possible. There's so many ifs and buts in this situation where you might watch the full thing and you can't fix the issue. If that's the case, you could always contact Apple support. Uh, there's an app in the description and they will help you out with the issue. However, there's no promises. Well, no promises. They will fix the issue because um, it could be a faulty Wi-Fi card or a faulty uh, cellular thing. And they'll, they'll replace your phone for free if that's the case. And so, I'll leave this video up, Jeff. Did smash like. See you guys later. Bye-bye.